Today on the Rumors Comedy Cast, our host Jordan Wellwood talks to Deborah DiGiovanni about working in tobacco at 10 years old, answering a Twitter question MFK style, and they write a sitcom together. Today's episode features music by The Xanadudes. Follow us on Twitter at Rumors Comedy, and be sure to subscribe on iTunes and YouTube. Hey, welcome to the Rumors Video Comedy Cast. Also, a podcast now. We're now on iTunes. This is episode 10. It's the 10th anniversary of the first show. We made it! We did. <laughs> We're here with Deborah DiGiovanni. She just got into town. Hi, guys. And we just finished a show. Yeah. It's How'd a it show. go? Yeah. It's a good show. Sorry. Thursday night show was nice. Full crowd. Packed. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. It was good. What are your thoughts? That's that's how I figured I'd start this thing. Let's yeah, good deal. I, thought, I think it was a good show tonight. I always, um, you know, Thursdays are a little different, right? It's like a school night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> school and everyone, yeah, has got to get up and do something tomorrow. So yeah. I thought they were, I thought they were pretty terrific. It's packed. They yeah, they're great. here for you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's always nice. Yeah. When instead of it just being like, who's on? I don't know, some girl. It's nice when they know Deborah. who they're coming to see, right? Yeah. yeah that's how, always better. How long did it take you to get to that point? Because like every um, time I've seen you, it's like sold out every. I take ten years. 10, 10 years, because it's 15 years now for me doing comedy. Yeah. So I'd say it's been, since the when Video on Trial really took off. Yeah. And that was probably, oh God, we did it for eight years, eight seasons. Wow. I know, right? And yeah. then probably about like season five of that show. Okay. So, and that, yeah, that was about, about seven, eight and then years you've ago. you got that TV yeah. fame Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> so the elusive television. <laughs> nice. um, but yeah, so that, that really helped. And that was when it was just started to becoming like, you know, that's when sort of a fan base developed before, you know, when before it was just like, oh, good comic. But then it was yeah. sort of like kids wanted to say hello to me and stuff. Cool. And when, when, when people want to start taking pictures with you after the show, then you're like, oh, this is different. Yeah. We, we moved into a different territory here? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I get the guilt picture where it's like, you yeah. can come too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... You can be in it too. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. I'll just take it and I'll, <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. Will you take the picture? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Awful. So, yeah, since last time you were in town, you've, yep. you live in L.A. now. Yes. Yeah. We talked about that a little bit before. Oh, oh yeah, I don't know what <laughs> I, I don't know sound? what I've done. That was it. Oh, what have I done? Um, moving to LA is um, it's good. I think it's necessary. I think it's inevitable for uh, everybody, yeah. all comics. I would say. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's just still really a culture shock for me. It's really um, it's good for me. Uh, being humbled is good for me. Starting <laughs> over. Starting over is hard um you know because now i'm in la with 15 years of good comedy behind me and it's huge name it's, Canada, zero. Like it's just it's tops. just gone you yeah. you you will be not you won't be shocked uh, i'm sure you won't they know nothing about canada oh like I, i've even <laughs> i've even had i've even had uh, comedians i go you know just for laughs and they go what and i'm like what the biggest comedy festival in the world <laughs> 35 years or something and they're like oh i don't i don't know it i'm like oh, oh. Okay, Jeez, yeah. I actually have had cup, I've had uh, comics that don't know who Russell Peters is. I'm like, oh, do you live under a rock that is called America? Yeah, like it's just yeah. Well, so, he's always talking like, oh, nobody really knows me, and we're like, what are you talking? But maybe that's he why, is right? honest to God. Russell, I mean, obviously, is a household name in Canada, yeah. and he's don't get me wrong, in Hong he's, Kong yeah, he ex exactly for the yeah. most of the seventy percent of the world, he's yeah. a household name. But America is a little. Is a little, and I don't think I'm. I think That's I think Russell would have would have That's agreed with me. That's a stereotype. Yeah, right. It's like uh, when I went traveling, it was like 50-50. Like you meet one yeah. person who's like cool, and mm -hmm. then like one dude who's like. Italy's different than America, and you're like, yeah, you're in Italy. Yeah, exactly. It's a different country altogether. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah. there's, and that's exactly it too. It's like an even split down where like half people are like, I have no idea about Canada, and then the rest are like, hey, great, nice to meet you, you know, yeah. and that, that kind of thing. Do you so, bother like trying to like fill them in? Like, I don't. You know, to be honest, I don't. Um, I, you know, when I'm talking to someone, I will say Canada, but um, I don't often like I don't use it as a as a like my intro. Yeah. Like, I don't go and say, and she's from Canada. I don't do that. Yeah. Because I find that, um, unfortunately, uh, I find that people turn off. People aren't interested. Uh, they, they don't, some people in America don't like Canadians. <laughs> I don't like, know how, but it's true. Within Canada, when you're from Winnipeg, it's yeah. like saying yeah. you're from Canada in the States. <laughs> exactly. It's like, yeah. It's like, oh. Winnipeg. Winnipeg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of thing. Yeah. So I do, I don't, um, I don't say it too, too much. My accent 
accent apparently gives me away. I have never, I do not consider myself a Canadian You're accent. You're not checking out A's. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. not like, yeah, you know, there's no, that like the accent you did on the show tonight, that was good. Which is literally just me when I <laughs> Which drink. Which is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is that what it is? It's every hockey playing <laughs> person I've never known. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. But no, no. It's not like an East, because you know, obviously our East Coast is very strong, but no. So, but they tell me all the time, oh, listen, I'm like, oh. Okay. Oh's, I don't know. Oh's, yeah. I don't hear it. But That's whatever. A, it's an old, boring. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's like it's dated. Get a new one. Grow Do you know up. what I mean? Yeah. Make fun of our healthcare or something. <laughs> yeah. well, look at her with her good teeth. I know. <laughs> you gotta. Is like weed's legal there now? It is. Yeah, California. How's it's, that? Um, great. Uh, it's super duper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because you know I have a medical marijuana card and uh, it's legit. Now. Nice. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's um. It's, it's okay, Amsterdam. yeah. I mean, it's not like it's not. Uh, you can't be an idiot, but uh, you're not in trouble though. It's, you're not in trouble anymore, and it's pretty good. That's cool. Yeah, and there's like there's like the pharmacies on every block. And it's on like every block. Is yeah. it like you get your little like mm-hmm. you have like oh I'll get this flavor you, you, today. Yes, exactly. You go in with your prescription. A little and, cart. Uh, yep. And yeah. they go and say, "What are you in the mood for? What do you feel like?" And then they <laughs> <laughs> bullshit of whatever. And you're like, okay, I'll take that. You know, That's whatever. Crazy. But yeah. So now because it's you get an actual prescription. So. Mm. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. So what do you like? What's like? Where you like? Which kind of shows are you doing now? Like, while um, you're there? That's you're obviously still this is and... this is the first time I've done a long set in about four months. Really? So, yeah. So because uh. you do, I don't get much longer than fifteen minutes anymore. Okay. Do you know, which is which is fine. I like fifteen minutes. I like twenty minutes. Yeah. But it, you you know the headlining it. Woo, yeah. You uh, you get rusty. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Honestly. So um, it's you might have. yeah. Well, thank you. But it's um yeah headlining will be it'll be. Years, years and years. Yeah, yep. for so, sure. Yeah, cool. and that's and that's fine too. You know what I mean? I'm not in a hurry. So what's the other plan? Like TV, movies? What are you doing? Yes, I think that would be nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to act, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I'm a good liar. Does that count? I don't know. It's um, the but same yeah, thing. I get. Isn't it? I don't. Yeah. So um, that is you know uh, excuse me the uh pilot season starts on Monday when I get back right. Okay. So the month of February is the audition central. Yeah. And the one thing about my timing right now is really good is because God bless. God bless you, Melissa McCarthy yeah. and Rebel Wilson. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so now I have auditions. You know what okay, I mean? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's um, it's kind of the the difference between like me and like ju- like a just an actress, like a bombshell type actress. They actually, I'm in a better position than they are because yeah. the auditions that I get are good for me. They're Do you know what I mean? Yes. Good. That I can go, I could totally play this. This is so. But yeah. like um, you, like like you, like a regular white guy would be like, you would go in. <laughs> And you would do an audition, and there'd be like 700 white guys there, and you'd be like, oh. Yeah. But me, mine is a very specific role. It's so rough I being a regular I, white guy. I swear guy. to God. It, it's the hardest <laughs> thing to be is just a white dude, it's right? It's comedy, yeah, it is. Because exactly. it's like you get like. You're going to have to disable yourself somehow. It's true. You're going to do something. One arm. Yeah, yeah, there's probably a room of. That might be nice, one arm, actually. Like one a just, hook. We'll, a hook. A That's, patch. That be your hook. That'll be your hook. I like it. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm lucky in that way. So I mean, I, I mean, I don't get a ton of auditions, yeah. but I feel like I get good auditions. They're appropriate auditions. For yeah. sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But it's weird. And do you do auditions at all? No, never done it. I took acting lessons for like two years. Dude. and It was like I sucked. Acting is uh, the audition so. I bailed on. What is it like? It's just it's the worst thing in the for world. For a comic, like what's yeah. the like? Well, I mean, again, I think you know, there's a Seinfeld quote that I don't have directly but the, <laughs> the, the, the basics of it is that you know he said uh, the difference between actors and comedians is that comedians want to be themselves oh, okay. and actors want to be whoever you know nancy or whatever oh, right yeah, so and i that's that's the thing i always just want to be myself so i don't know how version. to i don't know how to do that yet and yeah. then um i find auditions are just the most like humiliating awful experience you could possibly ever ask they for it's just at you oh dude yeah just, they just oh they just don't look at you <laughs> nobody does it yeah, okay. Uh, awful. Yeah. And then just flop sweat. Just like. <laughs> just make it a numbers game. Just do a lot and then like maybe well, one will work out. Yeah, like. I, my, favorite, my favorite audition that I ever had um, actually was in Canada. It was in Toronto. And uh, I went in for a show and whatever, you know, did the lines and great. And they were like, well, you know, you're going to be the love interest of the, of the, uh, of the lead. And I was yeah. like, what? And they're like, so can you, can you be sexy? And I literally went, yeah, no, I gotta go. And they're like, do you wanna try it? I was like, I really don't. I really don't. Push him out of your way. Yeah. I'm like, I gotta go. And then I just ran out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You wanna don't try do that. and be sexy. Don't do that. That's a weird way they phrase Isn't it, too. It? Yeah. Do you wanna try to be sexy? Well, give it a shot. Not in front of you people. No, yeah. I really don't. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be sexy. I'm gonna do it on my own time. Oh, I tried yeah. it. Didn't like <laughs> it. Didn't work. It. Yeah. Didn't like it. Not a fan. <laughs> not a fan. I do not want it on tape. Thank you very uh, much. Well, Yuck. Now that you've gone from LA to back to Winnipeg. <gasps> yes. 
What uh, what's you can plan for the rest of the week? You gonna go out? You gonna just? It's too cold. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's too cold. I mean, it really is. Like, I wasn't prepared for this. Like, my I, my brain was like, I haven't seen snow. I'm so I'm really excited. Oh, we'll go to, to see the snow. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, it's uh terrifying. Yeah. Um, there might be some brunch. Uh, Maybe we'll do brunch. The you and the boys. Yeah, let's do it. I like it. Let's get a let's hit a brunch buffet. Seriously. Yeah, we'll hit the medical marijuana. Do you want like store. we'll do it? On, let's do it on on Saturday. I'm down. Okay, great. Yeah. Plans. Just made You're brunch invited. Plans. I feel like, uh, like this, this is happening. Night. This is happening. I'm a grown up now. I'm doing get brunch. a babysitter and we'll, and we'll yeah, brunch. I would love to just get a babysitter. If I don't have kids, let's just get one. <laughs> just get, just hire. Kids are sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> kids are sleeping. Oh, now you're here. Like, just hang out. <laughs> you just want to, so do you like stuff? That'd be weird. Just, Maybe age appropriate. It, yeah. yeah. That'd be funny though. It'd be very funny. She, I mean, she'd call the cops, but it was yeah. funny though. It'd be, be funny story for you. Later. Uh, her or not. She's, she's terrified. <laughs> But anyway. Oh, man. Mm. Well, we got uh, our producer, John, came up with a, with a, a new idea. Oh, I like this. For the podcast. All right, what do we do? He threw out a tweet, uh, a Ruben's tweet. Anything you want us to ask Deborah tonight's podcast? Uh-oh. So this is a first time <laughs> a little trick we're trying Uh-oh. here. Oh, no. And I'm just going to read what's the okay, uh, first go. thing. MFK. M slash F slash K. Mary fuck kill. Mary fuck kill. Yeah, that's what that that's means. That's what that is. Uh, number one, a taxidermied... <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch, <laughs> a talking cat in a fireman's suit, or Black Jesus? I know who did this one. <laughs> okay. That is comedian Matt Davis. That's I already wrote totally him really and was good. like, come on, he's a psycho. I love him. I love him. He's a terrible man. Let me see. Okay, so I'm going to do Mary Fuck Kill yeah. for um, a taxidermied Benedict Cumberbatch. So he's just standing there. Just like, standing yeah, there. He yeah. looks taxidermy. <laughs> That's redundant. <laughs> so the real one then. And then a talking cat in a fireman's suit. <laughs> And black Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna marry the cat in a fireman suit. I think you all guessed that. That's adorbs. Right? Yeah. Picture the picture. Oh my god, yeah. they're gonna be so good. Um, and then I will fuck the black Jesus because I'm not stupid. Yeah. And then I will kill Benedict Cumberbatch. He's already dead. He's a taxidermist. Right? Yeah. That's See, a... I didn't have to do anything. Try, try harder next time, Matt Yeah, Davis. come on, get, get your shit together. That was easy, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the only other is one here Let's see. is uh, someone would like to know when you plan on moving to Winnipeg because they could use a roommate, <gasps> which is not weird. Oh my gosh, at all. never, <laughs> ever, <laughs> oh, not even a thought. God strange. Bless you. God bless you. I don't know if I could do a roommate anymore. No. Do you know what I mean? I think you get to a point in your life where you're like, yeah, I can't, I can't live with somebody now. There's just no way. Did you do that for a long time? I did. I had. Oh my god, I had a roommate forever. Who was the worst? Um. Oh, I had one roommate once that um he was a temporary, like a little fill in for three months, and he was just the real um, tiny guy. Yeah, a little tiny small yeah. guy, just oh. tucked in the corner. <laughs> uh, he's um was a total sociopath, and he just uh hated life and hated everything, and it was. Awful. It so was awful. Living was with just, a hate-filled person. Yeah, that was literally it. And like he never left the sofa and he was so angry. And then the, the real thing that made me go, I hate you, is he hit my cat. With what? His hand. Jesus. Yeah, something he didn't like the cat did something and he smacked him. And I was just like, <gasps> did you, you just smack my baby? I mean, I, I, I went crazy. I flipped the couch. I was insane. You murdered him. Yeah, so he was gone pretty quickly. How did like, you I actually, with someone like that? I actually packed his bags and put them in the hall before he came home. Did he react poorly to that? Uh, yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> best, yeah. best roommate you ever been? Best roommate I ever had was um, a friend of mine, Becca. We worked at a coffee shop together. Oh, my God, we had so much fun. And uh, and she, I was, I think, I think our age difference was like ten years. Okay. And she was just, she was just a kid. She was like twenty two at the yeah. time. Oh God, we had. She, I just, she was just a great girl, super fun, and it was one of these. Forgive me for saying this, Becca. I actually had one of these. Uh, we had one of those situations where she had been in the bathroom so for a long way. time. A three way. Yeah, yeah. And she, she had been in the bathroom for a long time, and I was just like. Hmm, okay, you know, hey, Becca, I gotta, I gotta use the bathroom. Like, Give me a second. I was like, okay. And then she comes out five minutes later and she's like, okay, promise not to laugh. And I'm like, what? She tried to wax her own bikini line. And if any girl has done that, you know right now what's happening. Your brain is like, no! Because you think it's a good idea to wax your own bikini line until you put that first smear of wax on. And then you're like, I've made a huge mistake. And no going to, back. Point to, it there's no return. going back. It, it's got to come off now. <laughs> so I had to rip it, and I was hysterically laughing, and she was crying, and it was, oh, God. That's <laughs> how you, just, you ladies did it. I that's, thought you... how did. that's how it's supposed to be done. A woman's Shh. supposed to rip it off for you. But it was just, oh, my God, it was hysterical. <laughs> she was just sweating and shaking. Stop laughing. <laughs> and I was like, I can't. This is the greatest <laughs> moment ever. Oh, and then also once she hooked up with my brother and I woke up 
<laughs> and I woke up the next day and my brother was in the TV room eating cereal. He's like, hey. and I was like, room. what the hell? And it's, like, it's like, it's a surprise. And I was like, surprise, <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. You were mad at that. No. What does All your right. brother do? Who's your brother? My brother's awesome. Uh, my little brother is very funny. Yeah. Very, very funny. I think he could have been a comedian. Yeah. Uh, Michael could still be a comic. He's super funny. He is, Um. what does he do? Um. Something good? Uh, he works for <laughs> like a media company. And... Um, I feel yeah. like that's what my sister say. He's I got a know. thing I he does. Know. Yeah. I know. I don't. I don't know the title of his, title, of his yeah, thing. Yeah. He works for a company that he and his friends own in Toronto. He makes a lot of money. He has a nice life. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's no, not he's like no, a no. scuzzy brother. No. No. He's totally. My my brother's totally awesome. And I, I would say he's probably like the closest in my family to me. Like we're the closest in friends. That's kind of awesome. Yeah. yeah. And how many brothers sisters do you have? I have a bunch. I have three sisters and my little brother. Jesus. Yeah, I know yeah. five people. In the family. There's a lot of us because you know I have a twin sister, and yeah, then yeah. I have two older sisters as well, and I have a whole bunch of nieces and nephews. One of my sisters has five children. Like Does she live in like, like a because she wants and... to. Yes, like <laughs> yeah. she had them on purpose. Like she wanted to have five children, so she had five cool. children. Cool, which is Yikes. normal. Like a long that, time, a long time ago, yeah. but you don't hear that too too much now, right? Yeah. Unless you're like a. Mennonite or something, right? Is well, that, we, is that a lot? Legal reasons we're not allowed to say things like okay, that. Okay, we'll we'll we we gotta... erase that part. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, they're not a part of a weird religion or anything. It's just they want to have five kids. That's her awesome. husband's too hot. Do you know what I mean? Like her husband's super yeah. hot. I'm like I get it. You got five kids. He's hot. I get it. I get it. <laughs> you know? I just want to keep making babies. <laughs> exactly. With this dude. I would climb on him if I were you. I would That's too. Okay. All right. Yeah. Awkward. I'm gonna hop on this yes. bandwagon. Good deal. Well. What else? I don't know. What uh, I ran out of tweets. Yeah, we ran out of tweets. <laughs> what other questions could we ask? Let's see. Well, let's, what, uh, what were we saying in the room that you were like, I oh, should I stand on stage? Oh, you said, what did I do before I did comedy? Job wise. Yes. We were talking about yeah. uh, Best Buy. Yes, yeah, because yeah. we were. And I always, my job was, I was always a receptionist. Yeah. That I was, I liked doing that. Because like, you're that like, was, like yeah, a, you, an totally. Get friendly and yeah. learn, you know. Um, the very first sort of uh, first like full-time day job I had was at um, in Toronto, the world's biggest bookstore, which just closed, like I think two years ago, it just closed. <laughs> and it had been open for years and years and it was giant and it was fun. And I was the uh, information girl. So when you wanted info, you would come to me and I would tell you where a book was and I got to speak over the PA and I loved that so much. So, you just gave so I'd be like, uh, Ross, line four, Ross, line four. And it was, I loved it. <laughs> it was like 23 and, and it was you got fabulous. replaced by a kiosk. And then I got replaced by computers. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, oh. But that was fun. So that was working in a giant bookstore. Yeah. What was like the worst like day job? Because oh. I'm still in day job slash. Shit, hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like, what's your worst one? Oh, um, I worked a job. Well, I worked for the city. Mm. And then it's like your general labor. Oh. But I had a sweet gig. So you could do whatever they, do whatever well, they wanted it you was to do? Like, I was like, uh, like insect control. Mm. So we mm. killed bugs. Which was great. It was a great job. You walk around the woods. Just kill him. Pop. Kill you spray water. It's not hard. <laughs> but then they like you're like, oh, now you're part of the workforce. And then they randomly transfer me into parks where I was emptying like garbage cans. Oh no. Which if you know anything about you were in a park, a garbage can is just full of dog uh, shit. I was gonna it's say just... that is not yeah. And then like, I was like, yeah, I had like a thing with keys and like the gloves, oh. and I'm like, I'm a garbage man. Like, when did I become a garbage man? I don't remember when did this transition? To be a garbage man. Yeah. yeah, like that's like you're a comic now, yeah. and then all of a sudden you work in the kitchen and, and then, you're like, How did this how happen? Did this happen? Yeah. I don't do dishes. Is anymore, do I? Yeah. yeah, Jesus. I think one of my worst was um, uh, the town that I'm from is a uh, farming town. So we, What's uh, the name? What Tilsonburg. Oh, I grew up in a little town called Tilsonburg, Ontario. Cool. And when I was there, it was only 7,000 people. But it's uh, known for tobacco. That's what it, it grows and exports tobacco. Nice. So we, everyone worked in tobacco. Did the whole town yeah. reek like the, the, flavor country? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> it was everyone. <laughs> <laughs> rolled up cowboy hats. Um, it was, um, uh, but yeah, every, everyone worked in t uh, tobacco. I worked in tobacco when I was like 10. My first job was, I'm like, is this like legal? Tester, you were like, like <laughs> <laughs> why do you think I have this voice? <laughs> Hello. But it was, we worked in it, so we did like, we picked it and, and hung it, and it was a whole situation. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I did that for years. I mean, because they paid really well. Like, I was, um, 10, it was like the 80s, and they were paying you like $75 a day. <laughs> and so you were just, I know, and you're like, how is this even legal? Was legal yeah, yeah it, but it was. But it was really, it was a disgusting job because tobacco, like, it leaves a gum. Uh. So you, you pick it, and it would like leave like a thick, guys would have to shave their arms to do it. Because wow. it was just like this big, and then what we would do, it would be like thick gummy, and then at the end of the, the day, we would take it off and we would roll it up into a ball and then try to sell it to kids as hash. <laughs> 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 they fell for it all the time. 
<laughs> that's hilarious. That's, that's terrible. But anyway, we're terrible people. But yeah, it was it was a backbreaking job, but it was it was good money, so you did it. It's amazing. And then you yeah. use comedy, and it's been in money ever since. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Well, yeah, are yeah. you got any more plans? Like, where are you going next? Like, for a I am. Tour yeah, or... I go. I go home to LA uh, for a while because, like, pod season. And yeah. then you know, I'm gonna do. Um, I'll do more Canada. I always uh, thank God, thank yeah. you, Canada. So I, I'm so fortunate that I have you know a home that I can come to yeah. that still want to see and me everyone perform. loves you here. So. Yeah, I'm so, oh, thank God. So I, uh, I go to Calgary soon, and then I'm gonna hopefully uh, do some stuff with Just for Last, but I'm not supposed to say that yet. Awesome. So we'll do some stuff. Plot secret uh, with that, and um, yeah, so just as much comedy as possible. Great. And but I do think though in LA, the one thing um, you kind of have to you have to add a little bit more to your repertoire. Surfing. So, yeah. Oh, you know, I'd love to learn to surf. I really yeah. would one day. Do, do you, it. Could you do? It? No, I've no. Apparently, balance. it's very hard. I would it, fall. It, it, me too. Yeah. But apparently, it's really difficult. It's really hard. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> but I think. Um, like just, I, I'd like to learn to act. I'd like to learn to write like a sitcom. I've never done that. Like I've only yeah. so far I've just done stand up. So I think I need to open it up a little bit. Sitcom know? pitch. Yeah. Well, what would sitcom you, what's the okay. situation? I think me and be, you. Oh, okay. I think it would be a really be. good. Yes, I think it would be a really good. Uh, it'd be fun. Oh, this is it. Are you ready for this? Okay, I think that this, because you know they always do, um, oh, schleppy guy with hot girl. We're going to switch it up, all right? So I'm going to be the schleppy guy, and you're going to be the hot girl. And some, for some reason, we had to get married. Okay. Okay, let's, okay, oh, everybody, uh, everybody. You're not from here, all right? You're from a different country, um, and you've got you to stay with me for the green card. Green card marriage. Oh, yes. Yeah, and then we, we really the fall in love. Yeah. Season three, yes. I'm from what country? I'm the Czech Republic. I am from Czech Republic. This is right. I, does it have legs? I, think I want to live in uh, Canada. Yes! Which is like super easy, I right? think. Like, yeah. think I, I have to say so you America. just tricked me. We'll have to say America's America, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come, come on, come, come on, on. check so, people. But I think that'd be kind of fun. What's the name of the... Uh, it's called... Um, it's called... Uh, it's called uh, Pierogies in Me. Yes! I, that was terrible. Dude, we'll take it, though. That's the subtitle. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> come on into Rumors. Deborah's going to be here for the rest of the week. Uh, check out the podcast. Uh, check out Deborah on Twitter, at Deborah DiGiovanni. Yep. On Twitter. Fabulous. Uh, I am Jordan Wellwood, at Jordan Wellwood on Twitter. She's got a website now. JordanWellwoodComedy.com. Nice I just made it. Yeah, check it. Yeah, check it. Check her website. Yeah, mine's uh, Deborah DG. Deborah DG. Website. And your special is? Uh, my special is called Single Awkward Female. Single Awkward Female. Stay tuned for pierogies and me. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> that was fun. That was, that was good. That was yeah. awesome. Good deal. I'm done. Yay. Yay. Cool. It's time to seek a swim as it crosses the sea. It's been a fight of flight, kind of feel for me. My sail is empirical, and it's enough to face even the strongest winds. My 